must confess this month is one of the months that didn't really give me what I wanted in terms of uh, my productivity. I'm going to tell you how much I made this month and I'm going to spread it into how I made it. But if I am not determined, if I don't know um, willpower, if my willpower is not huge, I may not be able to drive back to the point I was before in terms of revenue and what I am now. Now, let me tell you, if you want to make money online, there are lots of things that are involved. And one of the most important things you need to learn is keep your willpower up, keep your determination up. You have to be consistent before you can now make that tons of money that you have been looking for. My name is Blessing Kolawale. I am the Tutor on African Giant. And I want to tell you today two things. I'm going to split this into two. The first version of it I'm going to be talking about how much I earned online this month. And by the way, go to the comment section and tell me how much you earned in April. I want to know how much you earned in April. Meanwhile, from there, I'm going to tell you the habits of people that are amazing at determination and willpower. Because that's one thing that I notice is lacking, especially among us that are working online and people that are making money online or trying to make money online, either as a beginner or as a pro. Now... Determination is key because otherwise you're going to gas out. I'm sure by now maybe you're even getting tired of the whole process. So this will help you out. It will help you out. Just stay with me. Let me quickly get these things sorted and done. Now, number one, as we continue, is the habits that you can form to help out yourself is uh, you have to let go of your past. That's, that's very certain. A lot of us are still looking back to our past. You know, trying to figure out, I went to the university, this was what I did here, this is what I'm going to do here. You see, when you come online to make money, either from uh, print-on-demand or from affiliate marketing or you want Fiverr, whatever it is you want to do, ensure that you leave your past to your past. From all my life, I've been an engineer and now I have to come online to write articles, I have to come online to read about things, you know, when I started. It's not the same thing. So... Try and focus now because you are changing lanes. It's not going to be as easy as you are. That, that's not your life. This is not what you've been doing for years. Okay, so you have to understand that. It's very important that you get that through. See your life and your future. That's what's going to help you out in the first place. Because if you can't see the future, absolutely, you won't have the same drive and determination to get there. Whatever you need to be available in your future... This online money-making thing will let you evaluate. Okay, now, let me tell you one thing I did sometimes ago. I wrote down, I told myself and my wife, I was married then, I said, look, assuming we want to live a good life, what are those things that should be in our life? Let's write it down. So we started writing. Then I said, okay, we have to buy a car every year without selling the other one. That means we have maybe in 10 years we have 10 cars, you know? I said, okay, we need a house. How do we want to build the house? Let's say we are building... Let's say 5 million naira every month, every year, we accumulate that. What kind of house do we want? We want a house of 40 million. That means it will take us, how many years? Eight years, right? Before we get to 40 million, uh, we put that down. So we kept doing that. When we finished, I discovered before we would be happy because we put the vacation in Dubai once every year. You know, we did all of that. Before we will be happy, genuinely, it will take us 1 million naira every month before we can get to those things right then i told her as at that point i was earning two hundred and fifty thousand. that means i was unhappy that means our financial situation wasn't it so what did i do because i can see into the future that's what i'm telling you to do now because i can see into the future i know what's going to get me happy i know how much specifically i need per month my question to you is how much do you need every month do this exercise at home and then Write it down in the comments. I want to see, like, what's the range? How much do you think when you make it that per month, it will be comfortable for you, like you'll be happy? At least, you won't feel like a failure. Put it in the comment below. After you have done it, don't just rush to say, I need 2 million, I need 10 million. If you earn 10 million, you know what 10 million is. You have to be specific. Be truthful to yourself. That's one of the exercises you can learn that will help you to be determined. Now, if you know how much you are gaining for, you now know how much that is in dollars. That's like $3,000. So it's easier for you to split across everything money making to be able to get to your destination. One of our problems are that we lose focus, we, we are not determined, our willpower becomes low, is simply because we 
don't have a target. So this will give you a target, basically. That's how it is. Now that's cool enough. Then after that, you now have to learn how to ignore things that does not you don't have control over. For example, when I was about recording this video, the uh, PHCN took away power. Assuming that was not even nothing, then it would have rampant me. I don't need to whine and shout. Either I put on the generator or I go outside to normal light and record. Sometimes I do that when I don't want to stress or maybe the inverter is low. Those are things you don't stress. Look for solutions. Don't stress. That's how to be determined. Otherwise, you'd be like, mm. it's like this is not my own or something is happening to me somewhere and it's not allowing me to do this. No, don't, don't stress over things you can't control. The one you can do, you do. The one you can't do, you drop. The only thing is, do not be lazy unnecessarily. I'm going to tell you how much I earned and I'll tell you ways to improve your determination. These ones are just the behaviors of amazing people who have great willpowers that can do anything. For somebody like me, when things are not going my way, that's why I drive to it the more. I do it as if I'm fighting in a boxing ring. Generally, for example, there are days I record one tutorial four times. When I do it the first time, maybe OBS is not working. I do it the second time, maybe my audio is bad. I do it the third time. And then I'm supposed to give up and say, wow, maybe this is not supposed to be today. But the harder it goes, the harder I go. I want to raise my standard against your standard. If you bring evil to me, I raise it up. So that's why I drive myself in willpower. That's why I drive myself in determination. Those are things I learned after time, and it's because I even know it in the first place. That's where I can learn it. Okay, so the last one I'm going to tell you here before I tell you how much I made and go to how you can improve your own determination is you have to stop complaining. A lot of people are quick to complain. It's because my daddy didn't send me to school. It's because I didn't go to school. It's because my girlfriend left me. It's because I didn't marry a rich man. It's because I didn't marry... When you complain, you lose determinations because you have given yourself the reason to fail. That's all it means. You've simply given yourself a 100% reason to fail. So you have to stop complaining, stop whining, stop criticizing. Some people are watching people, oh, this YouTuber self, they are just teaching fake. They, they, they don't earn anything. You have simply given yourself the chance to fail. So please avoid that. Now let me go to the summary of how much I made. I'm going to read that directly from my system. Um, my blog, by the way, what I made this month is the lowest I have been for like two years. I've not been this low. But I noticed that uh, I got tired in between. I have to grind myself out from, you know, teaching videos. Because, like I told you, when you join a new thing, if it's a new terrain, it's going to stress you a lot before you are, your body adjusts to it and your schedule. And it's happening to me myself because... I wasn't teaching anyone online. I was not attending to anybody. Like, I'm running as if I'm in customer care now. So it really, you know, gave me a bit of boobs here and there. But I'm getting over it. I'm trying to build. And I'm not scared. I'm not afraid. I'm still building. Because by the time I can get this over with as well, it's going to get me closer to my dream, which is also good. And, you know, it makes you fulfilled. All the same. My blog, I did $725 this month. I didn't write enough articles at all. Because I always write you know, new content, by the way, if you're writing, if you're a blogger, you need to write new content so that Google can crawl you over and over. That's what Google likes. It wants fresh content. But I couldn't, because most of my time I was doing a lot of recording and all that. So there was no time as much to write articles. So I only made 725 as opposed to last month. Then Fiverr, I did 2,650. I can't remember the, it's been like four years I did less than 3,000 last. But this month, that's why, I, 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 even me, I need to be determined. These things I'm going to tell you about how to improve your determination and dedication, I think I also have to listen to it again. Because, you know, sometimes you know something you heard, but you have to hear it again so it can impact you yourself. I hope this impacts you. I hope this drives you forward. I hope this gives you that extra knowledge that you have. Now, on Kindle, I made 540. It's the same problem. I've not been writing. So, I don't know. Something happened on my Kindle. It's not supposed to be this bad. I'm always around 800, 900, 1,500, 1, 2. But this one is $540. It's too low. So I think maybe I have to box up and write more. Because I know I have some keywords that are really very juicy. But I don't have time to write. That's just the problem. If I write on those ones, at least those will give me extra $100, $200 to bump me back up to where I was supposed to be. And now the YouTube that is taking all my time, this YouTube, the whole month of YouTube, the uh, $360. That's how much I made on the whole of YouTube. Actually, it's incredible, but it's dedication. We have to continue. YouTube is not making me anything close to what I was making, but it's the one taking all my time. Because most time you record, you edit, you set up lights, you set up these. It takes a lot of time. And by the time you finish that, you're tired. That's, that's it. Then Audible stood a bit closer to what it does. Audible is the uh, voice version of Kindle Publishing, if you don't know. So your books, the books you have written, 
in Kindle, you can translate it to audio. Now, this one went a bit, it stood this ground because I don't read it myself. I don't have the right accent. You know, most people prefer the American accent or UK. I use American accent basically, but I can't sound like that. So I pair myself with uh, narrators to help me narrate. And most of them, I wish, because I don't even know if I'm going to sell or not. So I do 50-50 cuts. That's what I always do. I don't pay for, the, you know, audios because I don't know the one that will sell or the one that won't sell. So I just give out 50-50. If I make a thousand, we share it 500, 500 if I, forever. That's how I'll be sharing. And that's what I've been doing. So all my audible books, I made $830. Now on affiliate marketing, I did 2,210. The same problem I had with blog is the same blog problem I had with my uh, Kindle. The same problem I have with my Fiverr because I'm into writing and translation. So I write ebooks, I write scripts, journals, I write P, uh, PRs, news, you know, those are things I write. The same thing happened on all of this, including my athlete. Because what happened now is when I don't write enough, my uh, this thing will not sell, you know. That's basically what happens. Oh, I think I missed out on something here. Sorry, one minute. I'm trying to see because I'm, I'm recording via my phone. I don't want anybody to call me. That's a major, that would be a major blow because it will just cut off what I'm recording. Sorry. Okay. I have to put off on flight mode. So I know I'm safe. That's what I did. Now let's go. So the total now is $7,315. That's what I did for the whole of April. Everything. $7,315. That's very low. You can imagine that uh, before I started YouTube, I did. Uh, I was used to doing eighteen thousand, twenty thousand, sixteen thousand, you know, like that. Last month I did around ten thousand something. So that means I came down again this month. I have to improve my work rates. I have to be more determined and not. Uh, most times I feel, <laughs> I don't know, but that, that's just it anyway. I will improve. I will improve. As I'm telling you to improve, I will also improve so my revenue can improve as well. Now let me tell you 13, and I'm going to rush this because I don't want this video to be too long. I want to tell you 13 ways you can improve your determination. Now you're like, oh, but the situation of the world, the situation of Nigeria, they are shouting Corona, they are doing this, they are doing that. Let me tell you how this will be done. Now I want you to perform the exercise of African Giants in one second, and let's see how this goes. Breathe in. Out. Let the giant in you roar. Number one is you have to discover why you are here in the first place. Discover why you want to do online. For my end, I have reasons to do other businesses, but I chose online because I don't like talking to people. I don't like looking for contracts and I have to bribe you. No. So the reason for this is I want to be a Christian. I want to make money the right way without cheating anyone, without anybody cheating me, which may not happen. Even if you're a contractor, you may have to hide some money from cement or add some money from, you know, just to make extra, but I don't like that. That's why I chose online. So even if you give me 100 million naira to be a banker, I will still not go there simply because I don't want to cheat anybody. I don't want anybody to cheat me. Online, nobody cheats anybody. We are just, I'm not hacking, I'm not stealing. So you pay me what I do and I get paid. So I have rest of mine. That's my why. It's not because I wanted to make tons of money. Okay? But in between when I was doing it, and I discovered that I could make thousands of money, dollars, you know? Then I said, oh, this is even better than when I was doing regular things. You see? So that's how I got it. Discover your why. Willpower is fueled by emotions. You have to know why you're doing it. So when I'm tired, I can go on. Like now, I'm not too happy with my revenue, but I have the willpower to continue. You see how it goes? Motivation keeps you going. What I'm doing this morning in Monday Morning Motivation, for you to make money online, this will keep you going. That's all it takes. Number two is you have to postpone irrelevant activities in your life so that you can maintain focus on the relevant ones don't go out to parties don't go and be doing birthdays i know it's good you get back to that when you have enough money postpone irrelevant things stop arguing with your friends stop arguing with your spouses stop thinking about my life that's not good somebody told me that he was thinking about nigeria is bad things are bad i said so what are you, you are thinking about that that's a known thing nigeria is bad what you should be thinking about is how do i write my articles how do i get my affiliate links up you think about things that will let you sell and get you money not be thinking about it. i said what do you even see to think so you just sit up and say oh nigeria is bad the world is in trouble i said what's that what, what do you gain from that no so that's one thing postpone irrelevant activities stop going out to things that doesn't concern you stop talking about things don't waste your time on any of those number three do not be afraid Fear is one of the biggest killers of determination. Because at every time you have, yes, are you, are you sure? Somebody said something on our live yesterday. He said, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to see that what you are training is true. It's like you will take me there. I'm like, really? You're afraid? You think I'm lying? 
You think all this is just for what? I said, no. I'm trying to genuinely help you. I'm trying to genuinely push you towards what you will do because I know this works and it will work for you as well. So there are spaces, thousands, millions of spaces on the internet that you can grab. Like I just told you, the formats I use in making money, do you know if you do Kindle publishing alone, just be writing books, sit down your ass and write books. They will be the one to send you uh, traffic. You start selling $50, $100, then you start like that. In one year, sometimes you might have got it to $1,500. Is that not what we're saying? When well, you make that amount of dollars, fear, but fear will not allow you because you're afraid. What if I write the book and it's not selling? What if I do this and it's not ranking? And I've wasted all my time. No, don't be afraid. Don't let this kill your determination. Number four, fight negative thoughts and put in positive ones. Don't just fight negative thoughts and you think that's cool enough. No, that's not cool enough. Fight negative ones, put in positive ones. Whenever you are tired and he's saying you might fall sick, you are not sleeping enough, oh, tell yourself, I will fight this when I make enough money, I will be relaxed. But whenever, if you start making money, you see that all this sleeping, blah, 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 does not really uh, hamper you that much because your menu will change. You have enough money to buy good food. When you eat good food and you exercise your body, if somebody like me, uh, you'll be lean, you will be fit, there won't be much issues with you. And then little, little not sleeping enough will do. And with time when you make enough money, you will calm down and then you will start sleeping. That's how it goes. Just fight negative thoughts. Don't think it won't work for you. If it worked for me, it will work for you. I'm not... <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed, basically, I must say that. But I'm not the only blessed person in Nigeria. I'm not the best best. You too can join the bandwagon of people that are blessed. Number five is you have to control your stress. This one, I can't say it enough. Anything that's stressing you, please remove away from it. If it's your wife that's stressing you, go and prostrate and beg your wife. Please stop stressing me. When you have stress in you, it's a major killer of determination. One of the ways to restore willpower is to manage your stress better. Anything that stresses you. I told you my own lifestyle. Before, I was always putting on the gen. So like now, when I was to record DG, Nepal people took off like PH said, I run outside to put on the gen. Maybe you want to start the gen, it's not starting. Then what you want to do, you know, that gives you a lot of stress. But here, you can cancel all of that. Just try and do things that will remove your stress. If it, like, for example, I always wear white. I don't know if anybody had noticed that. I don't, it's only ties and suits that I change. Reason is, when I started buying shirts, I would not notice, should I wear green and purple shirt? Should I put blue and, you know, I was having issues with choosing of choices of uh, the colors for the blend of the suits and tie. And I was like, come on, I'm spending 10, 15 minutes thinking of what to wear. I can't even go out naked if I, I don't mean that. <laughs> you know, so I just decided, okay, white is a general color, you can go with anything. Then I started wearing white, only white shirts, all true. You can never see me wear another shirt unless it's a jersey or just a top. But naturally for suits, I just wear white. So I have like maybe 40 whites, I just wear it. So it helps me to go into the wardrobe and just take it and off I go. You know, that's how to, you know, control your stress. Number six is build positive habits. Every time I speak to you, most people are like, you're motivating me. I'm not even thinking of motivating you, I'm just talking. Like, this is just me. In my house, if I'm speaking to my children or anybody, this is how it goes. I just speak. So basically, create positive habits. Very, very important. Whenever you are stressed, we tend to go back to the habits that we have already developed. So all these things that develop with you from the places you... Meanwhile, poverty is also an habit. So when you are growing up, they taught you poverty. That's the simple truth. So you need now grind yourself out of that by creating positive habits. Things that will let you work. Don't, don't see work as evil. Some people just want money. No, work for money. Understand that before you make money, you have to work. But then they are telling you, ah, I wish somebody would just give me a contract too. That's what they taught you because that's what, you know, our poor parents and all of that felt it was good. But when you now develop the habit of working, even when you have money, you are still working. I work, I don't even care about money. What's my own? I just want to work because I've developed the habit. And that's how I make more money. That's how I could grind more. That's how your determination will go on. So making money online, you need to put that in control. Number seven is you have to encourage yourself to stick to your original plan, which is your why you joined in the first place. You see how this works. You have to stick to that plan. Very, very important. Stick to the original plan. Don't halfway get tired of working online. You have to make these dollars too. You understand that? Number eight, you have to delay gratification. For a lot of us, we don't know how to do that. You make your first, like one of us made, he told me, Last week that he had made like eight hundred and forty something dollars online on Fiverr, and I wanted to buy a car for the wife because the car the wife had been supportive. There's nobody you say that to them say like wow ah, God bless you also. I also said God bless you, but right in my mind I'm like yo, that's a flop man. 
You are making your first one thousand dollars to go and buy a car for your wife. Now you have to fill the car. Now you have to buy tires. Now you have to do. It's a good thing you are buying something for your car. I, I didn't tell him that. But in my mind, I'm like, you're making a mistake. You're just starting an online journey. What if orders don't come next tomorrow? I'm expecting you to now maybe make that, take that money, build a blog. Since you are doing something on this, try and expand it. Build your portfolio. Do something more. Let that 1,000 turn to 2. Let the 2 turn to 4. Before you start spending, delay gratification. That's how to do it. So that your efforts will be positive. So that you will not lose uh, uh, your reward. Otherwise, you buy the card today and the others are not coming tomorrow. You are finished. Your stress is first, first, first notch. So please, delay your gratification no matter how much you make. Or when you start making money, don't start spending it. Only buy things to improve the business. Don't think it's all like because you're not paying rent or you're not paying, uh, you know, all this overhead cost and then you start spending everything. No, don't do it that way. Number nine. I'm telling you this, you have to sleep enough because you are just starting out. I may not be sleeping enough, but you have to sleep enough. You are just starting out. Don't overrun yourself. At least get five, six hours of sleep. With time, when you start making money and you're more comfortable, you can reduce it four, three. I think I'm on the three hours kind of sleep thing which is cool. So just make sure you sleep enough so that your brain can work functionally well and exercise correctly. Very importantly, exercise is good for our bodies. It's also good for our mental power and capability. So your determination will sour high if you exercise your body and you are feeling fresh. But if you are not, mm, that may be an issue. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you is the most important one. I deliberately reserved it to the end so that people that will drop off will miss this so that they will not be able to achieve it. <laughs> but if you are here and you are still watching, congratulations. Let me tell you the last three. You have to improve on your nutrition. Stop eating sugar. I don't know. For you to make money online, you have to sit down a lot. Stop eating sugar. You have to control the sugar intake. You have to make sure you eat a lot of fruit. You have to, you know, improve on your nutrition. Because we are what we eat. That's just the truth. So either physically or mentally, what you eat uh, is important. And if you don't have enough money, just eat a lot of protein. That's it. As a child of an elder, that will improve you. Now, number 12, you have to learn and relearn. That's why you're on this channel. Learn and relearn. Improve on your strategies. You can do it better. Anything you have done, you have done. Look for a way to do it better. Very importantly. That's number 12. Number 13, which is the last one I'm going to tell us today, is that you have to practice. It's practice that makes perfection. One of the reasons why professional athletes do not fail under pressure is because they have practiced so much that the sport has become their second nature. So instinctively, Cristiano Ronaldo will score a goal in the Champions League final in the ninth minute because he's well practiced. Subscribe to this channel if you have not and like this video. This is Monday Monday Motivation. I'll see you some other time. Mwah.